Hi, I'm Junvert of Matalino.com. In this video, I will share to you my personal strategy on how to solve fixed-ended beams. The fastest way is to use these tabulated formulas. Unfortunately, it is not directly applicable in this type of loadings. But there is a workaround, and we can describe it in one word, integration. It's rapid and easy to use. Let's see how to do it. Let us take this beam with triangular and trapezoidal load as an example. To solve it, we have this concentrated load formulas. Moment at A and moment at B. Let us identify the value of our elements in the formula. This is our P. We have two values of P for triangular and trapezoidal. So we simply sum up their effect. To find the other elements, we have this A equal to x1. The B1 equal to 6 minus x1. A2 is equal to x2. And B2 is 6 minus x2. By proportion, we have y1 as to 3 minus x1 equal to 10 as to 3. So we have the value of y1, 10 minus 10 over 3 x1. From this triangle, we can do proportion y2 minus 9 over x2 minus 3 is equal to 3 all over 3. So we have the value of y2 equal to x2 plus 6. The value of P1 therefore is y1 dx and the value of P2 is y2 dx. Our L is equal to 6. There is another way to express the equation of y1 and y2. We can use analytic geometry. To do that, we are going to superimpose our xy plane at the left end. That is our origin. So we have this point as 0, 10. This point as 3, 0. This point as 3, 9. And this point is 6, 12. Now, what are the equations of these lines? Line 1. Okay. Given x and y intercepts, so we are going to use the intercept form of a line x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. The x-intercept is 3. The y-intercept is 10 is equal to 1. Multiply both sides of the equation by 10 and rearrange. We have the value of y is equal to negative 10 over 3 of x plus 10. Therefore, y1 is equal to 10 minus 10 over 3 of x1. Our p1 is equal to y1 times 10 minus 10 over 3 of x dx. Line 2. We have the slope of the line is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That is equal to y sub 2 is 12 minus 9 all over 6 minus 3, 1. We are going to use y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 for the equation of the line. y minus 9 is equal to slope 1. Our x1 is 3. Rearranged, we have the value of x plus 6. The y2, therefore, is equal to x2 plus 6. And the p2 is given by x2 plus 6 dx. We can also use the statistics mode of our calculator to determine the equation of the line. Menu, then navigate to number 6 statistics and select linear number two input the coordinates of line one zero three navigate upward we have ten and zero ac option then number 3, regression. We have this equation of line 1. y is equal to 10 minus 3.33, repeating decimal. y1 is equal to 10. 
but it is better to express that negative 3.33 into fraction. If we want to find the fractional equivalent of B, go to AC. Option, downward arrow, number 4, regression. We have this B, the value of B. Press 2 equals. To convert this into fraction or to display this into fraction, press this button negative 10 over 3 y1 is equal to 10 minus 10 over 3 x1 again let us go to menu then number 6 and linear input the coordinates of line 2 x 6 then go not upward y is 9 and 12 ac go to option number 3 regression we have this equation of the line y is equal to 6 plus x therefore y2 is equal to 6 plus x2 here is our summary. P1 is equal to 10 minus 10 over 3 of x dx. And P2 is equal to 6 plus x dx. Now let us solve for the end moments in MA and MB. Moment at A is equal to negative. P1, A1, B1 squared all over L squared. Sum up from 0 to 3 plus negative. P2, A2, B2 squared all over L squared. Sum up from 3 to 6. MA, negative 17.85 kN meter. Moment at B, that is equal to negative P1, A1 squared, B1 all over L squared. Sum up from 0 to 3 plus negative P2. A2 squared, B2 all over L2 squared. Sum up from 3 to 6. Moment at B is equal to negative 23.775 kN. Let's take another example. We have this fixed ended beam with parabolic load. In the same manner, we are going to use the formula from concentrated load in fixed ended beams. We are going to concentrate on how to solve the equation of this parabola. If we go with manual calculations, let us take the vertex of the parabola as the origin. The equation of this parabola is x squared is equal to 4ay. Now this point is negative 515 and this point is positive 3 5.4. Substitute 3 5.4 to the equation. We have 3 squared is equal to 4a times 5.4. Solve for the latus rectum 4a. That is equal to 5 over 3. Therefore, the equation of our parabola is x squared is equal to 5 over 3 of y. Solve for y. That is 3 fifth of x squared. The concentrated load, therefore, is p 3 fifth of x squared dx. Now we can solve for the end moments if we have these distances. Our A, that is distance from the left support, x plus 5. And B, distance of the point load from the right support, 10 minus x plus 5. Moment at A, from the formula, negative P times A times B squared all over L squared sum up from negative 5 to positive 3. That is the answer. Next, moment at B. From the formula, negative of P times A squared times B all over L squared. Sum up from negative 5 to positive 3. That is the answer. 
moments at A and B. I know, you prefer the use of calculator to develop the equation of the parabola. In that case, we are going to take point A as our origin. So we have this point, 0, 15. This point is 5, 0. And this point is 8, 5.4. Let's go to menu and then 6 for statistics. Let's select number 3 for parabolic. Input the coordinates of our points. We have 0, 5, 8 for the y coordinates. Navigate upward. 15, 0, 5.4 AC then option select number 3 regression this is the equation of our parabola y is equal to 15 minus 6x plus 0.6 of x squared y is equal to 15 minus 6x plus 0.6 of x squared now, the P1 or the P, simply Y dx. Now, we have A is equal to X and B is equal to 10 minus X. We can now solve the end moments. Moment at A. From the formula, we have negative P times A times B squared all over L squared. Sum up from 0 to 8. This is the moment at A. Moment at B, negative P times A squared times B all over L squared. Sum up from 0 to 8. We have the answer for moment at B. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share it if you find it useful. Thanks!